What's going on guys? In this video right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up and install Docker on Ubuntu. Now Docker already is supported natively in Linux. So it's gonna be a very quick process. I'm gonna follow the uh, a tutorial that's available actually on the Docker uh, documentation page. So that's gonna be very quick and simple. Uh, but before I go ahead, what I want to do is I want to introduce you guys to a app that I've written, uh, you know, which was a part of uh, a video series I did a while ago on Elasticsearch. And so because we need a demo app, uh, you know, for, you know, the upcoming episodes where we're going to be showing you guys how to build uh, a container uh, for your Rails app. And this is a great example because it has a few dependencies. It, has, it uses Redis, it uses uh, Elasticsearch and PostgreSQL. So how do we work with that? And, uh, you know, we're going to tackle that in the Docker tutorial series. So if you haven't already, the source code is available on our GitHub uh, page. So if you go over to this URL here, as you see in the browser, uh, you'll be able to access the source code and download it. And over here, I've written a quick readme uh, to show you how to get up and running with the project. Uh, you can download a data dump. It has some sample data that you can use, uh, import the data into your database, and then basically index it into your Elasticsearch installation. Um, then, you know, this is going to be the starting point for the Rails app. It's just a generic Rails app, Rails 4.2.6. We're going to set up, uh, you know, Docker, uh, you know, with, with this app. Uh, so this is the one that we're going to use as an example. All right. So with that out of the way, let's get started setting up Docker. So uh, Docker has a very uh, good tutorial. And what I'm going to go do here is I'm going to open it up and then following uh, follow along with the documentation over here. Uh, so it's very simple. Uh, but the reason why I'm doing this video is because some of you guys out there have asked me to do a Ubuntu installation video. So here you go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is um, run app get up update. So app get update, uh, that's gonna run. Uh, so I'm just running a basic Ubuntu 16.04. So this is the latest Ubuntu uh, box. So I have been using this in production as well on my own machines and it works fine. So here we go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this command here, app get install app transport. Um, so this line here, we're gonna install that and uh, here we go. All right, all good, we have everything. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this new GPG key uh, to our installation. So that's done. And now what we're going to do is, um, you know, we're gonna paste one of these lines into this file uh, so that it's using the latest version of Docker uh, instead of the one pre-built with the, you know, the, the image from the, the source, like built from using the package manager in, in Ubuntu, we're going to use as uh, one that is maintained by Docker themselves. So pick the one that you're using. Uh, I'm going to pick this one here because this is, I'm using 16.04. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into VI, Etsy, apt, and you know, the path is here, uh, sources.list.d slash docker.list. And here I'm just going to paste in the line that I copied from the tutorial here. And I'm gonna do app get update. All right, so this is gonna, you know, use the repository we just added over here, as you can see. So now if we run app cache policy and then Docker engine, we're gonna see that we have uh, available to us the latest version of Docker. So um, one thing we need to run is there's this prerequisite if you use one of the following versions of uh, Ubuntu, and that is you need to install um, some extras over here, and this will allow Docker to use what's called AUFS, and that's the, uh, the storage driver that uh, is required to get Docker to work right. Okay, so when you're installing um, Docker on a new box, you can get this kind of warning. And to fix this is very easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this line over here. This uh, just, you know, E-N-U-S U-T-F-8. And, uh, you know, I'm just gonna let it finish install. But, you know, once you have that, copy that. And what we're going to do is we're gonna put that in our global environment variables. And that's gonna fix that whole language issue in Ubuntu. So I'm gonna do a VI ETC environment. And I'm gonna go over here, do export language. 
and paste that in like that. Export LC all. So I do the same thing with uh, all of my Ubuntu boxes. Uh, once I have everything set up, uh, you know, I'll, I'll run just to refresh the environment variables. All right, so now there's no more language issues. Docker is installed. So I can see here Docker info. Oh, actually, wait, I haven't installed Docker yet. Um, so well, I only installed a prerequisite here. So the next thing I can do now is I can... Uh, I, so if you're using Ubuntu 12.04, you have a different, uh, you know, prerequisite you need to install uh, over here. And once you've done that, uh, you know, you can get up and running with Docker. All right, so now we are ready to actually install Docker. So app get install Docker engine. So this is going to download and install. So yes, go for the install. So as you can see here, it's setting up the new version of Docker 11, uh, version 1.11. Point one. All right, so once that's all set up, um, we're going to take a look at the installation. So we can do Docker info. And this is going to show you, you know, um, what's, which storage driver it's using, which version and all that. So once you see this, you're good to go. This is a good point. Uh, generally, in DigitalOcean, you can even actually create an image. So this is what I would use to create a base image. And then when I need a new Docker machine, I just boot up my image and I'm done. Like I don't have to run through the install process again. Um, so this is a very simple process. You know, this is all like once you get to this point, you just have the image where you can just use to boot up more machines if you need when you're running uh, a production uh, Docker setup. Uh, and we'll go into that a little bit later. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and you can also follow us on Twitter. Uh, but for now, this is what you want. Once you have this, you're good to go. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one.